Hey everyone, um, I did five canvases to melt crayons for Christmas gifts for my cousins for Christmas. Uh, I just said that. Uh, and I did one 8x10, and then the rest of the four are 5x7. And I did a base coat of um, of a blue craft paint and then a couple layers of black. And then I was gonna do well I did like a pearl acid watercolor on them and I didn't like that so I painted a couple more layers of black over that. You can still see somewhat see the shimmer. And um, then I took different color groups, orange, um, two different green, two greens, and a blue, and then pinks and purples, and hot glued them on. Well, for the 5x7, I actually cut them, and the Tim Holtz scissors actually cut the Crayola crayons pretty well and then so I hot glued those and then with the um Sizzix Big Shot I die cut the letters from Light White Chipboard. And I painted them with um craft paint and I used glossy accents to glue them on and I'm about to melt them. So this one's this one's for the two-year-old and I think the name of this die cut alpha set is Doodle. I got this at, well Mitzi got it for me from Custom Crafts. And then okay, this is one of the green ones. And this is for the baby. And I know my camera is cheap and carpy. This one's for the, I think he's five or six. And I actually used some of my own crayons from my own stash. Because I bought like four boxes when back to school at Target where they were like 50 cents for a 24 pack and I ran out of uh, certain colors because I used two greens and I used uh, my box of crayons of 160 one of the big boxes so that's what, this one's the eight year old and I don't know if he'll like this but I'm hoping he will. My cousin said they all like art so and this is for the seven year old, the only girl in the bunch. And the letters here I painted with the black thick black um acrylic paint. I just want to put eyes right in here. <laughs> so I'm going to get started. I'm going to need something to hold this up without burning me.
little bit. Pretty cool. And I'm, again, I'm sorry about the quality of the camera. I do have it in high resolution, but it's like a cheap one book camera. So. Oh, and I forgot. When, with these 5x7 ones, I didn't use the whole crayon because it would be, won't have enough drippage if I use the whole camera, I mean, whole, the whole crayon on here. So I just, like I said earlier, I just took my Tim Holtz scissors and cut them by the Y. And then I did trim them up a bit so they could be a little bit smoother. And I was thinking about doing, you, you know, using this part and then using the bottom half for another canvas, but I like the tips of the, um, of the crayons. Yeah. So here we Another green one.
two more. This one, I hope, I think it's going to be my favorite. <laughs> Let me get rid of Peel off some of this melted crayon first.
smoke a little bit. I think it's done. Um, yeah, I'll probably once it's cool, everything's cool. I probably put a piece of scrap of paper or on the on all the backs of these to make it look nice. But otherwise, um, done. So, thanks for checking out the recording, and sorry if I was sneaky and didn't broadcast, but at least I streamed it. Thanks for watching.